Over the past two decades, Asian horror has emerged as a major force in the genre, putting out some of the finest pieces of cinema. Not to mention the scariest I have ever seen. Korean horror, for example, has practically invented a brand new subgenre of revenge themed psychological thrillers, and we love them for it. So, today on Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 5 scary Asian horror films you need to watch. Before we begin, though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that, let's jump in. Coming in at 5, The Eye 2002. The Eye, also known as Seeing Ghosts, is a 2002 Hong Kong Singaporean horror film directed by the Pang Brothers. This film spawned two sequels by the Pang Brothers, The Eye 2 and The Eye 10. Don't know where they got 10 from. The plot concerns a 20 year old violinist, Wong Kar Mun, who, after 18 years of blindness, regains her vision when she undergoes a corneal transplant. She's, of course, overjoyed with the procedure, but Mun's elation dissipates when she begins experiencing ghostly encounters. Desperate to discover why she now sees ghosts, Mun turns to a psychologist, Dr. Wa, who believes the new corneas are causing the problems. When Mun and Wa travel to the cornea doctor's hometown to investigate, things begin to get worse. Eerie imagery is the name of the game with this movie, augmented by an excellent acting performance by Angelic Lee. The movie was released in the United States and Canada on June 6, 2003, and grossed $122,000 in its opening weekend. The movie was met with mixed reviews upon its release, though, with it receiving an approval rating of 64% on Rotten Tomatoes, with the general consensus reading, conventional ghost tale with few genuine scares. Coming in at 4, Shutter 2004. Shutter is a 2004 Thai supernatural horror film by Ban Jong Pisan Thangkun and Park Poon Wong Poon, which focuses on mysterious images seen in developed pictures. After hitting a young woman with a car, Jane and her photographer boyfriend Tun begin seeing a shadowy figure haunting the background of Tun's photographs. Concerned that the figure is the vengeful spirit of a young woman from the accident, Jane does some research and soon discovers that the girl was named Na Che and had been a classmate of Tun's. As the haunting continues, Jane uncovers a shocking secret. The cinematography and special effects in this movie are both realistic and creepy, with the storyline being full of twists and turns and, and surprisingly surprising, to say the least. The movie was a huge box office success, making it one of the best known horror movies from Thailand and recognised worldwide. The film opened number one at the Thai box office, grossing $867,000 and remained at the top in its second and weekend grossing 607,000. The film went on to be nominated for the 2005 Golden Canary Award for the best film at the Bangkok International Film Festival and has won a slew of awards at smaller festivals as well. An English language remake under the same title was also released in 2008. In at 3, Dumplings 2004. Dumplings is a 2004 Hong Kong horror film directed by Fruit Chan. It was expanded from a short segment in the horror compilation Three Extremes. The plot concerns the infamous Aunt May, a former gynecologist who performed abortions, who makes dumplings with a miraculous youth restoring ability. Miss Lee, a former actress desperate to make her womanizing husband pay attention to her again, initially refuses to eat them. However, after discovering their potency, she offers to pay May any price for more. Things are complicated when May is forced to flee the country and the dumplings powers begin to fade. Oh no. As much as it is well shot, dumplings is also incredibly well acted, with charm that is hard to ignore for most viewers. Dumplings is a movie that feels like it's apprehensive for the future. And wistful longing for the past. It also feels like a tribute to Hong Kong's golden age, having lost its identity and beauty to time. The film currently holds a 69% on Rotten Tomatoes, with the general consensus reading, The strong horror elements of this fascinating film is added by the detached narrative stance, supported by the sumptuous colours of Chris Doyle's photography. Eat before you watch. Now there are some slight variations from the original three extremes, whereas the extended version retains much of the plot for the short film. The endings differ greatly though. The short film focuses solely on Mrs. Lee's quest for rejuvenated youth and does not include the masseuse or the subplot, including Mr. Lee and May's affair. Now, I don't want to say too much more because it will spoil the movie for you if you choose to seek it out. But trust me when I say, the ending of this movie is a doozy. In it too, Noroi the Curse 2005. Noroi the Curse is a 2005 Japanese found footage horror film in the form of a documentary, with the film centering on a paranormal expert who vanishes while filming a documentary about an ancient demon. The movie was directed by Koji Shirishi and is unusually long in length for the J horror genre, being just under 2 hours in length and having a main cast of well over 25 people. The film betrays the work left behind by a documentary filmmaker who was investigating paranormal 
paranormal events. It is a film that after watching remains burned in your brain with its disturbing and lingering content. The movie itself received generally high reviews though some were displeased by its unusually long and complicated plotline. As of right now it holds a 75% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. With a general consensus reading, Nori is a Japanese effort at the found footage genre and comes off as one of the best. The movie works as it employs what is best about Japanese horror. It develops an intriguing and involving mystery and the faux documentary format is very effective in creating an unsettling atmosphere. Relying on the atmospherics this one is well crafted. And finally at number 1, Juan the Grudge 2002. Juan the Grudge is a 2002 Japanese horror film written and directed by Takashi Shimizu. It is the third installment in the Juan series and the first film to be theatrically released. The premise is that if a building has endured a singular horror, it absorbs it and returns it to those who visit. A series of seemingly unconnected vignettes or with suitably satisfying jolts are slowly pulled together by police investigating the strange events. Now don't let this movies American remake deter you from watching because this is a genuinely well made horror movie that will linger in your mind for a long long time. It is horror at its purest and deals with curses, ghostly apparitions and a haunted house better than most horror movies ever will. However, my opinion aside, the movie received mixed or average reviews, with the Washington Post stating that it isn't particularly scary. No, it's much harder on you than a mere fright. It's creepy and it lacks any interest in conventional narrative and doesn't bother with hero or heroine, or with any sense of coherency or any mechanism of solution for its mystery. However, David Kerr of the New York Times took some swift jabs at the movie, stating that the grudge turns into a rote series of killings, with each new sequence introduced by a title with the name of its primary victim. Because there is a new hero to identify with every 10 minutes, the viewer isn't drawn into a sustained suspense but is merely subjected to a series of more or less foreseeable shocks. As of right now the movie holds a respectable 63% on Rotten Tomatoes, with the general consensus reading, arguably one of the scariest J horror movies ever made. While it's light on story it works almost completely on a visceral level. The images are just downright creepy. Well there we have it, do you guys agree with our list? Were there any scary Asian horror movies that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part 2. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top 5 scary horror movies that ended careers. Frank F Smith said, My Lady Lucy, did you not see or like Glass? It's a nice closer to Shyamalan's East Rail 177 trilogy, at least I enjoyed it. Uh, Glass was mediocre at best. I liked Split a lot, but Glass, mmm, boo. Thumbs down. Jebediah L. Brady said, Well, your opinion on the village is illuminating. Hmm. I personally loved the village, and I'm gonna fight that argument until the day I die. JC said, Garbage video is garbage. Well, to each their own. If you think it's garbage, then fine, but personally, I know it's not. Kedge Whitey said the first Silent Hill movie was well above average. You're being mean, Lucy. I'm not being mean, I'm just being me, so. One in the same, maybe. I don't know. Mr. White Trash said the best thing to come out of the Psycho remake was the poster. Kind of agree. It was pretty good. I'll give it that. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. They gonna hate me. By Bang Jong Pisan. Ooh, Pisan Thang Kun. Pisan Thang. Feel the country. Cup of feel. Cup of feel of that country. It was nice closure to Shyamalan's East Trails. One one. It was nice closure to Shyamalan's East. East Rail. I like the. Vi train. You're a train. I'm sharing one. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of control. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. And I will continue. And, what am I saying? Hold on. <laughs> I can't say that. I've got heated. I'm stressed. I'm not gonna. Oh, f***ing hell. Something's wrong with me. I'm shutting down.